Hey everybody, this is Killer Arcade Games, I'm Chris, and today is Monday. Mondays typically suck, or they're just not our favorite days in general. So what I like to do is play a game for you guys, ramble on about whatever comes to mind, maybe try to distract you from your crappy Monday. And if you had a good, ma a good Monday, maybe you're just sitting on the couch, want to zone out, watch something silly with a nice cold drink, well here's something silly for you to watch. I've got my uh, Area 51 set up running on this cabinet, which I'm going to explain what the cabinet is, and I know most of you guys are watching this are probably the same viewers who always watch my channel for the most part. But there's going to be some new people who drop in and aren't going to know what's going on. So this is an arcade one-up cabinet. I'm not going to turn the camera after all. It was an arcade one-up cabinet, I should say that. I just sliced the top off of it. That's a marquee you're seeing there. It's themed as Carnival. Two send in light guns running on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. There is a 32-inch TV sitting on top, mounted to the top of this thing. And the reason I went with that is because this area you see in the white box is the play field. It is 25 inches of play space, or close to 25. It's like 24 point something. And that is what the arcade cabinet had inside of it. Or most arcades have a 25 inch monitor. It's a much better experience to play on a much bigger screen. If I tried to play this on a stupid 27 inch that comes in an arcade one up, I think that's way too small, not worth it. Anyway, this is emulation. And no, I won't build you one of these and sell it to you. I'm sorry, I just, I'm not in that business. But here we go. I'm gonna try to get through this without failing because at the, uh, what is it, at the end of, or the end of the game, if you screw up the end, you just don't get to beat the game apparently. So I'm gonna try my best not to do that for you guys and let's go. Um, man, I gotta back up a little more possibly. I also have not recalibrated uh, these sending guns since I moved the cabinet. The cabinet has been moved across the room in the shed cade here. And uh, yeah, it may not be working as well. Let's shoot out some windows, why not? Oh, machine gun time. Oh, I'm trying to reload like it's carnival by cocking the gun. Having a little trouble hitting that corner I'm noticing. I'm gonna have to fix that. But we'll get by for now. Let me move this camera over. Uh-oh. Shouldn't be doing production stuff while while playing. I still like these sending guns, but I will admit after having a real light gun cabinet in the house, which are in the shed cave now, which is target terror that's behind me, or over there you can't see it. Uh, I do notice that the sending isn't quite as good as I initially thought. I thought they were really fast, and they are really fast for a light gun. Uh, Especially a light gun that's not really a light gun that's... Oh, sorry, lady. Uh, not really a light gun, more like a uh, PC gun, I guess, in this case. But it's still good. It's still way better than the aim track, so I'm not going to complain there. But I do recommend them still. And I paid full price for them, by the way. Nothing, there's no advertising here on that. Although it would have been cool if they did send me some. Still testing out this new camera setup, by the way. I think it looks a lot better just from what I'm seeing right now on the screen. Uh, it re reacts a lot better to the flashing, whereas like my iPhone that I was using was not very good. This is a Canon, whatever, T2i. It's old, an old T2i Rebel that Lady Cag had. And if you're new to the channel, Lady Cag is the name that the people on the channel have given my wife. So she occasionally makes appearances on the channel. Not often enough, if you ask some people. I tried to get her in here today to uh, do a game with me, a gameplay Monday with me, and she's too busy. In fact, I may have to peek out the door of the shed cave every now and then and make sure that the backyard's not on fire because she's uh, making her first homemade pizza today with her pizza oven that she just got. It's a Gozny, Gozny, G-O-Z-N-E-Y. Very fancy pizza oven, very not cheap. Oh, I forgot to shoot the windows out. I gotta do that. I think I might be screwed already, though. I don't care if I get shot. I want to get to the Chow Palace, or whatever they call it. Uh, I think I've already screwed myself. I can't believe I didn't think of it. Man, why can't I nail this? Okay, I had to back up a little. Only problem with the Sindons, you can't be too close. Uh, but yeah, she's got, she started it for the first time. It runs on propane and propane accessories. Um, so we 
have it sitting out there. She's inside the house getting the pizza dough ready. She makes the dough from scratch. She's like uh, going nuts in there. She's not, it's not like a, a one of those bobbly or something. It's not like one of those dough kits. She is literally making the dough which she has done in the past. Lady Cat doesn't mess around, that's why I'm fat. Um, but she's a little nervous because it's burning propane out there. It has to get started up initially at least and burn off or cure or whatever it's called. I don't know. This thing was like almost $4,000. I don't remember how much, but you know, what are you gonna do? Lady Cag wants it, Lady Cag gets it. Uh, she's actually been wanting it for years and to be perfectly honest, she paid for it because she got a settlement from being hit by a jet ski. So she got to pay for it. That's her money as far as I'm concerned. She's the one who took a hit from a sea -Doo. Or no, it was a Yamaha in that case on a sea -Doo. Get out of here, oh, you turd. That's all right. Oh, I don't wanna waste them. Okay, shoot the stupid windows. Ah, I'm trying. So if you don't know, if you shoot out all those windows in the back, it will let you go to a, they call it Chow Palace or something, and it's like nothing but power-ups in there. So you come out with like, like unlimited grenades. I got another window. Worst part of playing a light gun game for a long time is your arms get tired from holding it up in the air, so then I get lazy and I guess you can kind of see me. Yeah, screw it, that's no big deal. Oh yeah, rest in the arm. You wouldn't want to do it with a real gun, you get your teeth knocked out probably, but still. I feel like it's blasphemy that I'm in Texas and holding a gun like, eh, whatever, you know. Okay, ah, I'm not, there's no way I'm gonna get all these windows, unfortunately. You know what game, this game needs a sequel, like a modern day sequel done by like Raw Thrills or something. Oh, this would actually be something that'd be really cool to see. I don't like a lot of new arcades, I'll be honest. They're, I think they're just money traps that don't require a whole heck of a lot of uh, effort or talent to beat them. Okay, come on. But it would be, a, I think it'd be a good game to remake. Everyone remembers this game. Everyone talks about this game. It's not personally one of my favorites. Oh, the windows reset, so I'm screwed. Can't even shoot them out anymore. Uh, not one of my favorites, but I still like it. It's just, I just don't know why, I wouldn't buy it to have in the house or in the shed cave, a dedicated one, just because it's such a limited on rails game. Now, almost all light gun games are, I believe even Target Terror, but Target Terror has like 10 different levels to choose from. You could pick them at any point except for the final one and all that. Whereas, oh, ah, no way I was getting that. Whereas this is a pretty linear path and all right, I'm wasting one of these. Ah, not on this guy though, it never kills him anyway. Oh, wait, ah, there's no way I'm gonna get him. We let a few guys build up here. That wasn't really worth it, but whatever. Hey, hey, where were you a second ago? So I have a theory on why they, oh, hold on, hold on. I wasn't paying attention. I have a theory on why they won't remake this game or make it a modern day arcade. Take a look around modern day arcades. If you notice a single violent video game in the last decade come out, not a one that I know of. Now I could be wrong. You could say Injustice, I think it's a fighting game, but. As far as I know, there's no blood, no nothing like that. It's just kind of like goofy fun. Personally, I don't know how anybody plays it when it's nothing but buttons. Hold on, let me get in Joe Rogan's car. Go. All right, Joe, let's go. The podcast is pretty interesting. <laughs> uh, oh wait, he does like alien stuff. Maybe that is Joe Rogan. Anyway, um, no violent video games have been made. What the heck, I could not hit that guy. Have been made in the last decade. I think the last one I actually remember and I, keep in mind, I don't play a lot of modern day arcades, Target Terror. It's very violent. It has violent settings where you can, you know, turn them down and all that. Oh, I cannot believe I nailed that. Good driving, Joe. Um, but I, I think the reasoning is, whoa, uh, the people who go to arcades nowadays are families who are just looking to blow money on, you know, prize games, all that crap. Man, you messed up my streak, buddy. And I just don't think that that, that audience, I, mean, I think it exists, it's just I don't think that they're willing to risk it. I think they want family friendly stuff, cruising, which is a good game, but you know, it's very limited. 
I, I just don't think we're gonna see it. I would love to see one of these though, like Area 51 uh, resurgence or whatever they wanna call it. Why, why can't we have that? I guess because mainly kids go to arcades nowadays, little kids. I'm getting the feel for these guns back though. Haven't played this cabinet a whole lot lately. Not that I don't like it, it's just I've got all these real machines behind me that are way more appealing to me. That's been the problem with the arcade one-ups. Of course, I started with them. Always wanted the real thing anyway and finally got the real thing and now it's hard to go back to these one-ups if I'm being perfectly honest. So, we'll see. I'm sure more of them are gonna exit the shed cade and make room for more full size. I still have the Killer Instinct 2 cabinet in the garage that needs to come in here eventually. Still haven't announced exactly what I'm gonna do with that. Unless you're a member of the channel, you will hear my plans on it. I made a quick video for members only. Uh, just to, actually that video I think I made available to everybody. So a dollar a month if you're curious or you wanna have access to all the old live streams that's in there too. Ooh, I'm getting the dead arm. I'm going lazy mode. Get out of here. Ah. I like this automatic shotgun. This is nice. They could really do some cool stuff with a new Area 51. Like maybe have special guns on the cabinet or something that, you know. I would like a, I think they did this with, uh, oh, I'm gonna screw the name up, Ranger Mission or, I can't remember. There was a game where you held like AR-15 style guns uh, and I think you could change your firing speed. It would be really cool if you could have a switch on the game where you can just change them out. I know Time Crisis did it in one of their games, but it wasn't with a gun, I don't believe. You had to press a button somewhere to change what you were gonna shoot. And, uh, but it'd be cool to be like, oh, flip the switch on the side and you could shoot grenades or whatever. You may not be able to shoot a bunch of them, but it's an option. There we go, finally got that. I don't know why I like shooting those. I'm trying. Oh, there we go. Pretty excited for some pizza tonight, not gonna lie. I'm recording this Sunday night, or evening. It's not quite night yet. That reminds me, the next break I get, I gotta peek out the door and make sure the yards or house isn't on fire too, that'd be cool. Although I think Lady Cag would make it known. Carl Weatherby? Mr. Weatherby. Let's go in here. Bam, that guy was just hanging out. I, you know, with all the talk about aliens, I'm still surprised no one has tried to make another Area 51. Like, aliens are in the news now. I'm watching, like, mainstream evening news and it's like, oh, the Pentagon says this was a, there's something in the, and I don't remember the story necessarily because I remember being like, what the heck are they talking about? But they said there's like something in our solar system that's a mothership they thought. And I was like, are you serious? Like, are we reporting on this for real? Oh, you son of a bee. It's all right, let me look outside and burn my retinas because it's still so bright. Okay, everything looks fine. Sorry to interrupt. I told, told her I'd be, I'm working here, I'm working here. I'm playing video games for a living, kind of. But not really, I wish it was for a living. I don't make enough, not even close. But I do appreciate you guys watching, and I appreciate the little bit of money I do make off the channel, which lets me buy more arcade games and do stupid stuff, like build a shed in my backyard. I guess that wasn't stupid, that was like a, uh, that was actually a pretty smart idea in my opinion. Build a shed in your backyard, spend $20,000 on it, finishing it out and everything and putting air conditioning in it, and then you can have your home arcade. I did see where Amazon is selling like a build your own guest house in your backyard. Like how good can this thing really be? Does it have a foundation? What are we doing here? I was thinking of making a joke and linking it out. And be like, hey, build yourself a shed cade, backyard arcade available on Amazon. First Lieutenant here, reporting for duty. Let's do this. Oh. I rarely make it to this stage. I kind of forgot about this one. Oh, he shoots a light and it's a power up. I just shoot everything usually. Oh wait, man, what is with this gun? There we go. 
Maybe I'm still too far up. I gotta recalibrate. Very annoying, though. Or maybe it's an in-game calibration I need to do with Area 51, because it didn't feel as bad. I did Point Blank recently when I did a uh, Gameplay Monday, and I don't remember having this much trouble. Trying to shoot all the screens I see. To, I'm sure there's got to be some secret there. Yeah, Raw Thrills could make this, because Raw Thrills essentially just made all these games again with... Target Terror is basically all these games rolled into one. Secret levels, uh, ultra-violence, midway-style violence. I know this isn't technically a midway game, but if you ask me, it's a midway game. All right, Captain, now. Here we go. Oh, we're getting near the end already. Wow. Just checking to see that I actually hit record. I've done that before where I'm talking forever and playing games. And it turns out I wasn't recording the whole time, which is a great feeling. I feel extra dumb standing here talking to myself. Oh, ammo. Give me the ammo. Thank you. What are we doing here? Just hanging out? Sometimes the game does this, it just stops, and you gotta sit and wait for it a little bit, and then it's like, all right, we can move on, like so. Maybe it's, I'd say it's loading, but emulation always loads way faster than arcade hardware. Um, I sold a Mortal Kombat, or the Mortal Kombat 4 arcade one-up cabinet I had this weekend. Or no, this week, sorry, not weekend. Whoa, and he's gone, all right. Mel from, you've seen him on the channel, or not on the channel, but you've seen him in the chat with you guys. He came and bought it. I made a video on modding that cabinet, which you will probably see this, at least the first part of this week. Because I, I realized that could be my last arcade one-up mod, man. It's very possible it'll be my last, but we'll see. So I thought I'd do a video of it. Unless, uh, I guess, yeah, all the other cabinets are modded. I guess I was gonna say, maybe if I sell another one and I need to mod it first, but I've already done that. I have one stock arcade one up as the Killer Instinct just so I can play online. <laughs> Sorry about the sniffling. It's that time of year when crap is in the air and I am sniffling. We were in the garage all day, organizing and putting in a new tool chest. What are we doing here? Are we going or what? Really hoping the camera does not overheat on me. It feels cool enough. Roxanne, what's he saying? You're gonna see me break out my manual shot, or not shotgun, manual uh, automatic gun. With That's where I just put my finger in there and go crazy. It sounds wrong already as it was coming out. I knew it was gonna be not good. I'm trying to shoot that ammo. I guess it moves up later and you can get it. Here we go. My nose is running. Oh, I think we are very close to the end now. I'm about to die again, of course. These guys all say the same thing when they die, apparently. There we go, that's why I saved those. I need to save more of them, though, for the final boss, I bet. Oh, here it is. Oh, screw it. Machine gun. I'm hitting the start button to fire off those uh, grenades. I don't have any more grenades anyway. There we go, I got it. That's not nearly as long as I thought. I'm only at 19, 20 minutes or so. Okay. There you go. Area 51 complete, I guess. Let's see, I'm sure I get to put my initials in. Oh yeah, I should be reading this probably. I'll read it later on the edit when I'm editing the video.
Basically, it is a fast, heavily armored predator that can grow weapons from its own flesh. Wow, it uses humans for two purposes, as a source from which to feed and as a host, I think it said to breed, I don't know, or a brood, I don't know. Wow, bad accuracy, but I was doing the machine gun. I'm now a colonel. Uh-oh, computer's going to sleep on me. Oh wait, what the heck? Wait a minute, did this game just, oh, did I lose? If I lost, I'm done, guys. I'm not, I can't go back through right now. Yeah, I think I screwed that up. What did I do wrong? <laughs> Dang it. Oh well, I'm gonna take this loss. Let me know what I did wrong in the comments. I know I've beaten it before. I thought you just had to shoot the stupid thing. Maybe I killed it too quickly, is that possible? Why would that be a thing? But maybe it is. Anyway, guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more arcade content. Yes, this is not really an arcade technically, it's running main, but I've got real arcades behind me and I play said real arcades frequently on live streams and other videos. So uh, subscribe for more of that stuff. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And let's get these initials put in real quick. We're gonna tag today. Boom, let's see where I ranked. Oh, that was, okay, that was my best ever yet. I don't think I finished the game properly, but let me know in the comments where I screwed this up. If I did, I feel like I should know this stuff. And for some reason, I'm not getting it apparently. But uh, yeah, let me know how your Monday went. Also, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.